Good morning, everyone. It's just after sunrise. A little foggy over here in the Ukrainian mountains. Today we'll be climbing the tallest mountain in Ukraine. And yes, you heard me, the tallest mountain in Ukraine. It's the tallest mountain we've ever climbed. So this is gonna be fun. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. I know it's a little early, so I'm kind of talking really quietly. Beautiful out this morning. Anyway, let's get started. Now, the last time we did a giant mountain like this, we were in upstate New York, and we learned a lot from that trip. We kind of overpacked a little bit. We realized we didn't need food. We didn't need a lot of things. I mean, it wound up being, I think, a six hour long hike. We knew we could probably do it in five. This one here, we're pushing for about five and we're packing a little bit lighter. Obviously, we're still bringing our packs, which by the way, our Osprey packs did make its way over to Ukraine, both of ours, with our waters and all that. So we kind of cut back just a little bit. We still have our first aid kits and all of our hooks, we have our hats, our waters, our headlamps, all that, oh, a little bright there. Um, all of our like emergency gear and everything we need. We didn't bring the poles this time. We didn't bring the second thing of water. We didn't bring the food or the cuttery. Cuttery? Cuttery is right. Yeah, that's the right word. Definitely took a lot of weight off the bag, which is great. I think the only difference this time with things that we're packing is uh, more bug spray. And uh, it gets kind of chilly up in the mountains here. I mean, last night was about 55 degrees. So I'm actually wearing uh, like long sweats because I expect it to be even cooler under the tree coverage. These trees are massive, by the way. These things are all like at least 100 feet tall. And so, uh, yeah, we are good to go and uh, we're gonna head out. So uh, get ready for a nice hike. Beautiful day out. Woo, there's the girls. We're driving to the foot of the mountain now. And look at these views. These mountains are gorgeous and this house is upside down. That house is upside down. Doesn't look right. It's upside down. It's upside down. Well, folks, I don't know if you can see that monster ahead, but uh, yeah, that's what we're climbing today. Woohoo! So we're at the bottom of the mountain. You have to register to go up there. I think it's maybe like like two U.S. dollars. Um, but there's people like with their full blown like they're like hiking up there and camping up there for several days. Yeah, I know. This is pretty cool though. This is the office here to register. This is the gate you have to go through. And this is a building you use the bathroom and eat something in before you go up. The mountain's still kind of nine kilometers down that way. So this gives you an idea of what we're doing. It's see the easy yellow one, the easy green one, the okay red one. Now, now we're going to the purple one. Steep! I'm happy they tell us that. Now it says that it's 2,061 meters, but online it says it's about 7,000 feet. So uh, let's do this girls, you excited? All right, let's go. You can see how dense the woods are. We're currently driving up at two miles an hour. People are scared to drive on this road, so. We are out of the car and we're starting our hike. Probably gonna hit the bathroom first before we go up. We actually can't see the peak at the moment, but it's somewhere in the woods. Now I can't pronounce the name of the mountain correctly, but everywhere online, it kind of pronounce like Hoverla. If I'm saying it wrong and I apologize, and my wife already tried to help me say it like 12 times. and. Nope, still can't say it. But uh, this is the beginning trail right here. So the bottom of the mountain has a village where you can pretty much get everything you need. From poles to water to coffee. Crazy enough to hot dogs, you name it, they got it all. Now keep in mind, you can also camp up here. So a lot of people grab some stuff, go to the top and camp. What I find funny is when you finish hiking, you can come on down and get yourself a medal. Yeah, they have different medals everywhere. They say that you climbed it. Uh, we need to stop this bucket hat trap. Dobre, dobre. Need to end now. And so it begins. In a few hours, we'll be at the top. When it's not sunny out, it's quite chilly. It's about maybe like 60, maybe 63. But when the sun's out, it's pretty nice, like in the 70s. These are the last uh, shops before we get up there. Here's more medals you can get. Now I want to know this. Who walks up here 
with high heels enough that they need a sign. Okay. Yeah. Ladies, no <laughs> high heels. No high heels, ladies. Got my boots on. They got their hiking shoes on. Now we're going. No high heels. So for the first part of this journey, we're following blue, but then we're going to go to purple. Right now we're going to walk over this bridge. Sounds beautiful, doesn't it? I'm going to turn around and make sure everyone else is making it. There's Eero. And there's Julia. We made it across. So they're calling for 66 degree climbs. We're not quite there yet, but you can see the steepness of going down there and going up that way. We are about a mile in, so we're doing really well. I don't know if they put this as hard because people really don't climb up many mountains here or if it actually is hard so far. Not too bad, white face is a lot worse. But hey, we're only a mile in, so let's continue. Here are my girls, stopping for some photos. What's awesome is as you're climbing, you're following this waterfall, this stream. It sounds amazing. Hey girls. Now this is the steepness that I like. Yeah. Here, this, is, uh, this shows you level. It's a good degree up there. Let's continue. So we stopped at a flat section up here. We're already at 4,500 feet. So that was a very steep climb, but it felt pretty good. You guys feel? Yeah, feel fine. Feel fine. All right. So let's continue on. Girls are going that way. Here we go. Check out this view, everyone. It's gorgeous. You still can't see where we're going. It's all the way up through those trees, but this is beautiful. I just can't get over how beautiful it is. Here's like a 180 degree view for you guys. You're gonna love this. Here the girls are climbing up as a team. Team Fulminchuk. Now for anyone who's planning to hike this trail, just a heads up, it's not marked that well. We're technically on blue, and you'll see a blue maybe every half mile. You also see an orange every half mile. Technically this is purple, so just, uh, just follow the pack up. A lot of people heading this way. Just a little update for you guys. We're doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Give it a look to the right. Not too shabby. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the easier trail. You let me zoom in for you. Yeah, talk about a backup. Luckily, really not too many people going up this way, so. But thankful we did not go that way. And for those wondering, these are part of the Carpathian Mountains. So they go all the way, all the way out that way. Just there's only a small amount of them. They start in Ukraine, so. Altitude's a little high, so harder to breathe. But overall, we're doing well. We're doing very well. And we are on top of the small mountain. <laughs> you can see we're almost towering over the other mountains. But we're not to the top yet. It's right up there. We got this girls, we got this. Other choice suggestions if you plan on climbing this mountain bring bug spray like we did to make sure you don't get eaten alive the bugs are circling around us but not touching us second of all bring a poncho because the weather changes crazily up here so like right now it's sunny but also cloudy at the same time it says it might rain may not rain weather is very unpredictable up here so be prepared for everything let's continue So 
we've been pretty flat at this point, so maybe we're 6,200. Uh, but now we're gonna start with the, with the final push. Uh, there's a little hill here, and then all the way up there. Doesn't seem too bad so far. So at the very, very bottom of the mountain, where we signed in, you can see that blurry, but you can see that village. So we're doing really good right now. There's actually a touring company right over here. It's coming down the face of the mountain. On our way down, we're actually gonna go that way down because there's a waterfall somewhere down there. We heard it on the way up. I wanna explore it. Here go the girls. And we are almost here. You can see it's actually raining behind me right there. But uh, we're like maybe 10 meters away. Here we go. Gonna summit. A lot of people up here. Wow. And here it is. We did it, folks. We did it. The girls are getting ready to sit down for a little bit. Relax for 10 minutes. Maybe eat something and head back down. Let me show you this view. This is the top of the mountain. You can see this cloud trying to get over us. This is the tallest point in Ukraine. We did it. Girls, how do you feel? Fine. Fine? You falling asleep? <laughs> we have this rain cloud coming our way. So it might get wet, but not ruining the views though. It's gorgeous. Look, you can purchase metals up here. You can get hot coffee, water, sodas. It's crazy. But this is the official tip. So now I guess we're gonna head to none of those directions. Probably on the other side where we're going. But it's gonna be a nice hike down. We are now leaving the summit. We're halfway through our trip. So remember, getting to the top doesn't mean that you finished. You still have to go down. It's gonna be a little steep, but we can do this, guys. We can do this. Goodbye, mountain top. Let's head down. And so the descent starts now. We got this, folks. We got this. The girls are making their way down. Side stepping it. Two stepping it. This is the next trail here. You can see the people there. And they're heading down that way. And we're climbing down. It's actually raining up there right now. Down. So, uh, we're trying to get down before all this gets muddy. Right, and we slide down right with it. Yeah. But this is so beautiful. I don't know if you can hear this, but there's a group of people singing over here in Ukrainian. Sounds beautiful, listen. So we're doing really good on the way down. Here's that group that was singing. It sounds so good. But we're gonna go off the trail. I'm actually gonna head down this way. The trail down here to the waterfall to the left. It's gonna add maybe a mile, but it's gonna be totally worth it. This shows our angle at the moment. Here's our girls. And we're going down that way. Let's do it. Me and my girls. I got my girls, we're on a mountain! Yeah! Never be a rocker. Do you 
you guys hear that? We have some running water. Now we will see another waterfall soon. So we're gonna continue on. Now we kind of met up with a tour group, which is, I was gonna say, which isn't awful, but Julia hates it because now we're barely we moving. Camping area here. <laughs> She likes it when we're on her own. But still, look at these views. Amazing. <laughs> this one was the harder way down. We're finding out because of the rain. We wish we had a crampons with us, but unfortunately they weighed way too much in the luggage. They were like five pounds each. So they did not come, but regretting it at this moment. Here comes the girls. It's raining up there right now, but uh, we're trying to get down before that rain water comes. And here's the waterfall. And in a second, once that water comes down, it's gonna be flowing like crazy. So let's continue that way. They're like running. Oh my gosh, it just sounds so beautiful. I need one in my backyard. It's starting to get a little dark. I'm trying to beat this rain. I don't think we will, but we have ponchos and we also have other gear. But um, I think it's starting to rain now. I got a little wet. I'm not gonna complain though. Definitely getting muddy as the drops are coming down. And we're back in the wooded area, so if it does rain, we'll get a little coverage. Not too much, though. And we're crossing the stream. I'm recording in case anyone falls in. That'd be you. That'd be really funny. Oh, Julian almost fell. No one fell in, but we're trying to race out of here before the rain. You can hear it a little bit with the actual waterfall over there. These guys are camping. They got their fire pit on. About a half a mile ago, but these trees are so tall, they're so gorgeous. I want to share them with you. Look at these two trees in front of me. They're very rare to Ukraine. You can only find these in Ukraine. Um, but look at these. I think these are pines. It smells amazing. I really wish there was like a 4D thing where you could smell things because you get the freshly wet mud, it smells really good. The trees, the fresh water, oh. I wish there was a way for you guys to experience this. You can hear the rain and the water at the same time. It sounds awesome. Now as it rains more, it's collecting at the top and coming down and getting louder and louder. It was not like this a few minutes ago. Because the rain has picked up, everything's starting to get muddy. So we're going up and over things. And now we're back on the main trail. It's still coming down, but not as bad. And we're uh, probably 10 minutes away from the beginning. Not too shabby. The end is in sight. We can see it, it's right there. Look at Julia, look at Ira. Look, they're gonna do it together as sisters. And here comes the moment. They cross the finish line. Oh, and they did it. They did it. And you guys finished too. How do you feel? I feel great. A lot of energy. Time for a nice swim. I'm joking. I'm not swimming after this. Or maybe am I? I don't know yet. It's only 4 p.m. So it only took us about four hours to go. How many miles up? Four and a half. Four and a half miles. Vertical. Vertical. And back. Not too shabby. Yes, we'll get the girls some medals. And the rain is starting to come in. We are back in the village. I think we're finally gonna hit the bathroom and not get hit by any cars. We literally finished in the nick of time because look at all of this storm that's rolling in. All right? I feel bad because we're passing people as they're going up and it's like, ooh guys. And well, folks, there you go. I hope you had a good time like we did. We deserve a good night's sleep, even though it's daytime. But I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any Ukrainian questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll be glad to answer them in the FAQ video I plan on doing later. 
All right, I'll see you later. Bye.